you'll excuse me. I do like to give you that option in the presence of law enforcement for agents. the renegade, only for it to just circle back around to like, yeah, you're you're free to go. I could kill her. I don't want to. Oops. I forgot that the uh, also takeover moves to that planet. I completely forgot. That was like totally on me. I was like, oh, what the hell? Ah! Oh. Armoranthine. Okay. Anomaly, Cerberus, Geth. Let's go with the anomaly first. Oh, wait. I'm trying to remember what the anomaly was. <clears throat> It might have been the message coming in. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence. Hey, yeah, the yeah. Closer. What the f do you want? One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on get activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go ground side and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Okay, this one. I don't remember this one for some reason. Lost module. <laughs> oh, I think this is the one where uh, I was talking about with Rex going, You dropped the data module. With the Pijacks. We'll see though. <laughs> and just like hovering over Ashley, she's like, I'm Just. Odd light, hello. Am I still? Okay. Lurking on your uh, stream. I was making sure I did too. Uh, should be on Zesties as well. Okay, let's check out what you got going. Description. Uh, hmm. What should I give you? Thank you, thank you. Cause I see that you're still alive too. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'll save yours for a little while then, Rex. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Let's go get this anomaly. Is this the one with the pie jacks? Yeah, it is. It's totally the one with the pie jacks. Oh, <laughs> I just love just hearing Rex's line. They dropped the data module. And I just light him up too. This is the one I hate. This is the one I was really complaining about back in the day. There's a way to go get it, an easier way to go get it, but you have to go all the way around, which will take you just as long to go up this goddamn ridge in order to get it to go all the way around. Actually, that's a little bit faster. Because you're supposed to go explore. Oh, not explore. You're supposed to go get the uh, module, explore around, then get this one. So, that's just annoying to deal with, honestly. Let's go! Whee! Oh, hey, there it is. That's the uh, consort's gift area. Okay, this is probably the only time I'll be reading. Prothean Ruin. I like how it's very reflective now, though. Whoa. Dude. Oh. I'm trying to stand in a good spot for this one. Examining this strange Prothean artifact reveals a small, irregular slot on the underside. Remembering the strange trinket you received from the Asari consort on the Citadel, you pull it out and place it into the slot. The ball explodes into a brilliant flash of white light, momentarily blinding and disorienting you. Slowly you sense his return and as you wake from a deep sleep, you are alone in a forest. Though you are not far from the caves you share with the other of your tribe, there is a small pain and lump in the back of your skull, as if a chip of flint had been forced underneath the surface of the skin. 
Leaning on your bone-tipped spear for support, you rise to your feet. A sound draws your attention upwards, where a strange creature hovers high above you. It is unlike the birds you hunt by the lake's edge. It has no head, no wings, yet somehow it flies. It is a beast of shining silver, hanging motionless in the sky like a cloud. You sense it is watching you, studying you. Raising a hairy fist, you shake your spear at it in anger and the creature rises up quickly until it disappears from view. With a satisfied grunt, you make your way back to your caves and the rest of your tribe. You fall into the familiar patterns of life. The hunt for food, the struggles and claim to keep a mate, eh. the battles against, uh, against other tribes that would claim your territory. Days roll into nights and night, uh, back into days. Each time you rise from your sleep, there is a sensation that you are not alone, that some other is with you, sharing all you see, hear, and feel. At these times, your hand goes from a strange lump in the back of your skull, and you remember the silver creature in the night sky. The air grows colder, winter falls. You must range farther for food, clutching the furs tight against you to ward off chills. It is one of those long cunts that a strange bird returns. You hear it before you see it. There's a call deafening uh, roar as it descends from above, swooping down on you. A single great eye opens from its underbelly, a glowing red orb. You try to run, but a, f uh, but a finger of red light extends from the eye and engulfs you, and all goes black again. You awake an instant later find yourself on a, a Latania lying on your back, the Prothean artifact looming above you, undamaged and your companion standing over you. To help you to your feet, puzzled. What was that flash of light? And you just sort of toppled over, one explains. Are you okay, Shepard? The others ask. You don't answer right away, wondering at the implication that you have seen. The memories of Cro Magnon Hunter, captured by an implanted protein data recorder. How long did they study the primitive humans, observing and analyzing the results at the base on Mars? What, if anything, did they learn of any, uh, from us? I'm fine reply realizing that this is mystery you'll probably never solve forget about it so that really intrigued me because i already had a feeling like like yeah proteins probably were studying us and all that uh and all that but like that really like cemented like holy shit that's actually really interesting like something like that could have caused like not memory flashes but like that data disc is like, oh, here's a memory from a uh, long time ago that you're probably not aware of. Well, not aware of, but like you, uh, from your ancestors. Sick. I'm trying to look for a way up to go get the debris before I get the uh, go find the data, data module. It's hurting. Wee. Okay. Ah. Ah. Let's go get the data module then. That's cool. <laughs> well, I do like this planet though, because I always love seeing that. <laughs> I always try like tapping Let's see if I can actually get like lift off. It doesn't work that way. Ah Okay. Get out. This is the surveillance drone. A monkey like creature sees it made up of the data module. We dropped the data module. Yeah, I get it. Doing this the hard way. <laughs> go grab this over here. This is bothering me. Like in the back of my mind, like go get it, go get it, go get it, go get it. So like, yeah, I'll go get it. Gold. I like gold. 
Sweet. Let's go! It should mark the other locations on the map. I think it's by the... There's a ruins near one of them where the data module is at. It should be at that one. Keep clicking the stick to run. Yeah, yeah, this one always like this one though. Cause like I said, Rex is line. I'll boost it whenever uh, I'm editing it down. But yeah, like, uh, there's a video I was watching on YouTube of what if the Earth had rings, which is actually really interesting and, like, made me think more, more about, like, how we would evolve and stuff like that to, like, adjust to the rings and all like that, like, all that stuff. Because we would not be the same. We would definitely not be the same. Like, we would have, like, big changes with us. I want to say it's mostly going to be our eyes that, like, really be the defining change. Wee. Nice shot. Remind me to stay on your good side, <laughs> Just bam. <laughs> like the Rex is like nice shot. I don't think I can go in there. Let me check right quick. Oh, I can. Well, let's go in, shit. Because I should have more pie jacks in here, but it's not the reason why I'm in here. It's committing murder on these goddamn pie jacks. I mean, from the second game, they're pretty much just vermin, so it helps to get rid of some of them. Nope, he doesn't have it. <laughs> Ooh, blue air. <laughs> Just hearing that hollow thwack. You're useless to me! Get off me! I wanted that guarantee. Of uh, missing it. Because I know I get a little impatient. A little impatient. He dropped the data module. It's a miracle that they might <laughs> light him up. We can transmit this info to Alliance Command. <laughs> Oh shit. Oops. Ah! 
You bitch! Go hit, go hit. Thank you for getting in the way, Caden. Ha, bitch! Right there. Yep, got him. I ripped through that guy. Shit, dude. Okay, good. That's kind of surprising, too. We don't need a heal. Not right now, at least. I <laughs> hear Shepard panting. Okay. Oh. I was like, what? That's all oh, she's fatigued. Can I stabilize her? That's it. Oh. Okay, just debris real quick. Yeah, that's my favorite thing to do is we drop the data module and just start lighting him up. Heads itchy. Oh god. When I said that, like I don't know why that like it, like it popped in my mind with the goddamn uh, spawn uh, uh, quote from fucking uh, John Leguizamo. He says, "Ah, you said the G word." <laughs> Oops, I don't even know why I attempted that either. Okay. Alrighty, <sighs> done with that one. Finally. Oh, pardon me. Ow. I'm gonna scratch myself a little too hard right there. Okay. Now, time to go through each one of these to see if they're gonna give me another mission because I can't remember which one is supposed to be. Here we go. Incoming signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable is just... I think this is the one I was thinking of. In the first contact yeah. war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. That's quite a delay. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. And this is a problem, why? <laughs> when these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. And goddamn. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. Just because I saved Eden Prime doesn't make me an expert on nuclear munitions. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Uh, yeah, we know. been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. Oh, no. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. Yeah, why not? It's in the Voyager cluster. That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. <laughs> oh, what's the fuck are trying to figure out? We don't know. It it's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. We'll be discreet. Why does it swap like left or right sometimes? I don't know why. Okay, it's that one. Straight up that one. <laughs> I always like that too, like uh That's what I usually do. Like there's always like a planet you have to land on in a system, so Let's go. 
I'm bringing Garrus along for the ride on this one. Garrus and Tally. Why not? I always like the second game whenever like they're talking about it. Like, hey, yeah. Uh, remember the missile's a uh, toxin elevator? She's like, no, just straight up, just like, just immediately, just no. Okay, there's the beacon or the bacon anomaly. Let's go. I always like this mission though. It's a, it's a good, it's a good mission. <laughs> yes. Wee. <laughs> My mouth's like super dry right now. Probably after this, I'll go get me a drink before. Oh, oh, Slayerian corpse. Yeah. Oh, scavenger corpse. Turian insignia. Okay. And one thing I always love looking is just doing that. Like, oh my god. Doesn't seem like they do this often in the game too. Or oh, in the second game. Sure there is spots to like stand and look up, but like it doesn't feel like you're obligated to look up. Here it feels like you like should look around and explore the area. Every time I do that, it just makes me want to watch Dread. Just the opening scene too, just, a, just those dudes like lighting up in a fucking car, taking slow-mo. Like, why would you take slow-mo, especially whenever you're supposed to be alert? There we go. Get out of my way. I didn't realize I just. <laughs> the I was like, what the hell? From a mine? Suspicious. Suspicious. I agree. Sus. The probe did not crash. Someone moved it here. Your grasp of the obvious is inspiring. There's still a nuke down there. Check your corners and watch your back. Affirmative. <laughs> I just love that so much. Like, yeah, no shit. Oh, what do you think? The bomb walked in there? It's a like, shepherd. I was just. But yeah, whatever. Shut up. Let's go. What kind of sniper rifle do you have again, Garrus? Damn it. I mean, might as well, honestly. Wait, what am I doing? We don't fight anything in here yet. I forgot. This is a trap. It's a trap! Though I don't remember where the boxes are, though. Oops. I know there's like one or two of them around. There might not be none. A lot of these places are like very similar, so it's kind of hard to keep track of like what's what or what's where, I should say. I should think about this section like 
for a long time. Like I'm trying to remember what the sequence was before they changed it. That was a detonator, Commander. Shepard, at last. Have we met? Hmm. Have we My name met? Is I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus Clan, Shepard? Huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals slavers. of every stripe. Who cares? Give a damn. That's cute. <laughs> the strongest leads. The one who kills the most. It just like kind of like brushes her off. Pillages the most colonies. <clears throat> Three years ago, I was. I. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. You organized the attack on Elysium. Too bad we kicked your ass back into Terminus, huh? Mm. I was the motivator, the instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed. <laughs> ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What's Some goddamn war hero. Reputation than by eliminating the first human specter. You'll see me again, Halliot. Count on it. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. Goodbye. What do we do now, Shepard? We find a way out. Someone up there needs my boot up his ass. <laughs> See if there's anything in here boot? we can use. Uh, why would his ass require a boot? Or actually, no, that'd be more Liara saying that. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> The commander, Tally asked. Tally said that you would stick. The, someone needed their boot up their ass. What does that entitle? Why would a ass need a boot? Is it for like human thing, where you sit down and you, your ass hurts, so you need a boot? Just, oh my god! <laughs> Probably my favorite things to do. Oh, well, second favorite thing to do. I doubt it's gonna go that far. Yeah, it's not gonna go that far. I think he's on the ground. Yeah, he's on the ground! <laughs> I'm like, curious if he's actually on the ground. Goodbye. Ah! That was funny. <laughs> just, just shimmying down like that. That was awesome. Thanks for the help. No, nah, I'm pretty sure they did. I don't know if Garrus did or not, though. Okay, we'll equip your Avenger before we get out of here. Okay. Cerberus and then... Finally to Nervaria. Oh yeah, with the Geth incursion, I forgot. <laughs> I was like sitting here, like, yeah, I'm so ready to go. 